hello friends welcome back to another video in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix in azuma 11 victory road game not launching won't launch or not or not opening error on pc so let's go through the methods the very first method is to restart your pc for that click on the windows icon over here now click on power then select restart so this will restart your system now after restarting check if you can play the game if not next method is to modify launch option so for that go to steam under library section select your game here i am showing you an example now after selecting the game right click on it click on properties now under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and see if it's working or not if not again come back here you have to type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not next method is to run the game from installation folder so for that go to steam now under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files now this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed here you have to select the game and double click on it and then check if it's launching or not if not next method is to run game as administrator so for that you have to select your game right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator now click on apply and ok after that launch the game and see if it resolves the problem if not again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for and uh, click select on windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and ok and check if it's working now if not again come back click on disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and after that check if the game is launching or not if not next solution is to update graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now after that expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will update your graphics driver after that try to play the game and see if it if you can play it nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to verify integrity of game files so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so this will check and verify the game files and once done try to play the game and see if you can play it if not next method is to check graphic settings of the game so when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role so make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue next method is to allow in azuma 11 victory road game through firewall so for that go to the windows search now search for windows security now click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and here you have to select the game if it's listed if it's not listed don't worry click on allow another app now click on browse now go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application and add it to the list over here now after selecting here you have to select the game and after selecting the game make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok and after that launch the game and see if you can play it if not next method is to stop overclock cpu and gpu setting so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of cpu or gpu in the background this will help you to fix the issue and you can be into the game once again next solution is to disable in-game overlays so for that steam users go to steam click on steam option now click on settings here click on in game and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable now after disabling the settings check if you can launch the game geforce experience users just open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username now click on general and then switch off in game overlay options for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab and switch off enable in game overlay option next method is to install visual c++ files so for that i have already provided this link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for visual c++ files on your browser now after the website opens go below and here you have to click on the link this will download the visual c++ files now after the file is downloaded you have to open it and then check 
whether you are getting a repair option or install option if there is a repair option simply click on repair option and wait for some time to complete the process now after this restart your PC once your PC restarts now check if you can uh, play the game or not if not next method is to update windows for that go to the windows search search for check for updates option now it will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates and this will check if any update is available if yes update your windows to the latest version and after that try to play the game next solution is to disable antivirus program or firewalls so for that uh, go to the windows search search for windows security now here you have to click on virus and threat protection go below click on manage settings under virus and threat protection and here you have to turn off real-time protection if it is turned off well and good if not you have to turn off real-time protection once done after that again go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall now click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both private and public network settings and after that click on ok and then try to launch the game and check if you can play it but suggested to enable the protection later on next solution is to install DirectX so for that I have already provided the link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser now after the website opens here you have to click on download option this will download the file after downloading open it and install DirectX on your system once you install it restart your system and after that again try to launch the game and see if you can play it next solution is to increase virtual memory for that go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings now click on advanced then click on settings then click on advanced then click on change now here you have to select the game drive where your game has been installed now after selecting select custom size in the initial size you have to type one double two double eight and in the maximum size you have to type two four five seven six after this click on set and then click on ok now after this check if you can play the game or the game is launching or not if not next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card for that go to the windows search search for graphic settings <coughs> now here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add a desktop app now after that go to the uh, game folder where your game has been installed you have to select the game and add it to the list over here now after adding it search for the game and after that game is added click on the windows icon click on the arrow icon and after under GPU preference you have to select high performance and after that launch the game and see if it's working or not if not then the final solution is to reinstall Inazuma 11 victory road game for that go to steam now under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from its system after that restart your pc after restarting again launch steam and reinstall in azuma 11 victory road game on your system and then click on play button and check if it's launching or not so so following these methods you can easily fix in azuma 11 victory road game not launching not opening won't launch error on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you